Hi guys, this is Brownie from Manhattan, New York, and I'm coming to you guys with a makeup editorial. This makeup editorial is on the makeup I have on. I did my makeup from 6 o'clock this morning, guys, so please find no faults. <laughs> Some of it might be missing, but I assure you, I think this is wonderful for an entire day of wearing makeup, and it's still holding up absolutely just gorgeous so on my eyes I have on my NYX Dreamcatchers palette I have on the brown on the top five which is the second color and then I have on the lightest color to highlight my eye underneath my eyebrows which is a peach with a shimmer a nice neutral peach then I apply my wet and wild on top of my Sephora glitter guard I use my urban Decay eyeshadow primer. I don't even know if that's the name of the eyeshadow. Sorry guys, I'm in school and I'm like in this lounge chair and it's really, really super comfortable. And I have on so um for my foundation I have on my MAC NC50. I have on my MAC translucent white setting powder. I have on my Fix Plus spray. I have on my old navy pants and I just bent the bottom. I have on my Gap sneakers. I have on my Lane and Bryant shirt. It's not a sweater, it's actually really thin and you could see through it. So I have on my Lane and Bryant shirt. Underneath I paired it with this really cute Lane and Bryant bra. So if it did show through it was really cute. On my lips I was wearing Already Taken number 3 from City Colors. A3 from City Colors. Um, I don't have it on right now, but there's a little bit on my top lip. A little bit of it still on. Um, it's been a long, beautiful, it's been a beautiful day. Guys, I felt like I was in the spa. It was just so relaxing. Um, I went to my psychology class. I got eight questions wrong. I had um, one question right, which gave me five points. Um, in my hair, I have in my Dr. Miracles anti-frizz curling, curling, anti-frizz curling serum. And then I just brushed it back and I, I put my rubber band, which is here, somewhere. It's here somewhere. Oh, there it goes. It's here. Um, on my eyebrows, I didn't put anything on my eyebrows. I didn't set my eyebrows or anything I didn't do anything to them. Um, I wore I I just wore my ten carat um, ten carat um, diamond ring, white gold. That's the only thing that I wore is jewelry. Um, I bought a couple of stuff from Staples. I bought this bucket to put my mail in. I bought some garbage bags. I bought some tape. I bought some flowers that are really pretty. And that's basically all I did today. So I bought some pretty flowers, guys. I'm going to show you them. They're just so pretty. So I bought these flowers. Aren't they beautiful? I bought these two flowers. They're just so pretty. Um, I wore these shoes that I also recently purchased from Lane and Bryant with my outfit but because I didn't want to wear it all day these are the shoes I had on but I didn't want to wear it all day so I just bought them um, so I changed my skippies my comfortable skippies um, and I went to the Bill Cunningham show this morning and I received this bag and I received a cup holder from his show and I received one of his cards if you guys do follow me on more social media you can check me out on you can check me out on Facebook I have a little clip of a video that I'll show you guys from when we were in the studio I really hope you guys enjoy it I I did I enjoyed myself we were dancing um, when you first get on the studio, that's my first time really enjoying 
a studio. I've been to 105 in Park when I was younger, but I didn't enjoy it. It was so fake. Like, they seated us, and they told us, they had a sign to tell us. They didn't even talk to us the whole time. They had a sign tell us, and we were there for at least three hours. Um, it was AJ and the girl before the Spanish looking girl that's way in 2000 so whoever it was in 2000 and they um they were late and they were like just hold on they're a little bit late excuse me guys but they were like two hours late and we all were sitting there waiting 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 not to mention their studio was located way off where you didn't know so this is the clip <laughs> that I want to show you guys from the from the thing today is on my phone. What? What? My cheese broke it So that's me recording on my phone, guys. That's one of the guys that worked there. He was having fun. That's me recording, guys. That's me. I was dancing as well. And you can see I had on the shoes in that video. That's the studio. They basically just played a whole bunch of music and so I'm gonna just this is a picture of me in front of the sign this is uh, it's another picture of me the one of the young men that worked there he took the pictures for me it's another picture of me in front of the sign another picture of me in front of the sign this is a picture of his sign i just thought it was so cute i liked his decor a lot i just thought it was super nice that was me taking a selfie selfie in front of the audience selfie in front of the camera that's me at home a new pajama set i wore which i find super comfortable guys um i really hope you guys enjoy this what did I do today and my makeup I wore today um I usually don't do glitter because I have a lot of fallout I want to show you guys my cheek I have a lot of fallout anytime I do glitter so a lot of people have been referring me to the lit so I'm definitely gonna try that and give you guys a editorial on that I will also purchase some more glitter products so that I can use the lit with I found some Mac some 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 people have been showing me some Mac online I am new to the Mac brand and I want to make sure that I keep coming with tutorials that you guys are interested in items you guys are interested in purchasing so I'm going to next two weeks from now when I get paid on Wednesday I will purchase two Mac um two Mac glitter glitter um glitter glitter eyeshadows or another brand glitter eyeshadow and the lit and tell you guys what do I think of it and how was my experience um you guys are asking me I forgot my eyelashes these are my eyelashes they aren't fake these are my eyelashes a lot of people say they they look fake these are mine they're not fake guys these are my eyelashes a lot of people they're like they're fake they look fake but they're mine guys um I 
naturally have like eyelashes that are long so I really like this mascara because it's not clunking and it's not thick These are my natural eyelashes, guys. They're not fake, I promise you. And my bottom ones, they're not fake. They're mine. I really, really promise you. <laughs> um, if they were fake, I would let you know. I have had um, falsies twice, which is false eyelashes. I have had them put in twice. But in both experiments, as soon as the glue started drying, I felt really uncomfortable. I felt like something heavy was on my eyelashes. So I immediately plucked them off and ended up losing a lot of eyelashes. I'm looking if I still have the space in between, but it closed up. So I no longer have the space in between, but that's why I don't wear falsies. Um... So I still have a lot of fallout. I don't even want to touch it because I don't want to spread it. The blush I am wearing is from my BH Cosmetics palette. And that is the blush on the top three from this blood from the contour and blush palette. Six blush and contour palette. And that basically sums it up for my makeup. Oh, I have a picture from the Bill Cunningham show. I'm going to show you guys. They posted it on their Facebook. I'm going to Google it real quick and show you guys it. Show you guys how it looks. Um, I'm going on, um, on Facebook and I'm going to show you guys how that looks. So I'm Googling it, and I'm signing in, and I'm going to show you guys how that looks. Um, okay, that was pretty fast. I'm going to my page, and... So this is his, his, this is the Bill Cunningham's Facebook page, and I'm just sliding, sliding down, I'm just sliding down, I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to go to the pictures, I'm going to his photos. So I'm in his photos, and this is a picture that they took of me in the studio, and that he posted, and that they posted on their page. Um, he was very sweet, from my observation, he was very sweet, and he was very nice. I really like this picture of me. So... Um, he was very sweet and he was very nice um, when before the show we had munchkins from Dunkin Donuts um, we had pumpkin munchkins chocolate covered munchkins um, jelly filled munchkins and icing cake cake icing covered munchkins coffee tea during the interim between his next show we had pizza um i asked for another slice they gave it to me his crew is very nice um it was a lot of us we got a little loud it was a little hectic but they weren't like any other any other team that i've been with um when i went to 106 park and we were talking they told us that they would kick us out 
and get another crew and we don't have to be there and we paid for the 106 and park tickets they are not free you know 106 and park they give out like two free tickets every couple of shows but you pay for the tickets well the Bing Birmingham show I did not pay for my ticket I got it free so if you guys are interested in com in coming to the Bill Cunningham Show and you want tickets, you should go to thebillcunninghamshow.com or check them out on Facebook. And they will definitely send you free tickets. I mean, and they'll give you a listing of when they're available. And you could choose any date. And usually the date you pick is the date you get. They don't, um, and if you want to cancel, you could cancel. They're not going to be like, oh... I had to cancel one time and they were like no problem it was literally the night before and they were like no problem and they sent me some more tickets and they've been sending me sending me sending me ever since and I finally got to go today it took me six months later but I finally got to go and I really enjoyed myself so really hope you guys enjoy this editorial again this is Bonnie from Manhattan New York be blessed as I will do the same Mwah.